Ooh, welcome back to the Outer Worlds Space Astros Edition. Murder on Eridamos, DLC. Damn, those are also too many words. This game just likes a mouthful. And the intercom just asked me if the suit is to my liking. Did I ask you to talk to me? Shut up and do your job. Yeah. I see. Yes, I guess I will. Was there a floor you wanted to go to or not? Yes, we I P. If you see Black Hole Birdie, be sure to get an autograph for me. Oh, just joking. I've already got one. Are you a human now or not? I'm not sure about that. Hey, that's Halcyon Helen. If it's brown, drink it down. Hey, that's good. Um, by the way, still playing on the same day. I just decided I got one more game in, we in May. I can talk more before fall asleep. But we don't need a face cam. It's talking anyways and I'm laying back most of the time to chill. Rizzo's Ranger. Gotta stay limber for the big pennant match. That's Neoka's voice. Bertie Holcomb's the greatest hacker in the league. Bertie Holcomb's the greatest hacker in the league. I know that voice too. Gotta stay limber for the big pennant match. They don't have anything important to say, but I know those voices. Sublight underground takes care of its own. Know that voice too. Zeke Hannigan, Rizzo's Ranger's 16th back. Pleased to meet you. What can I do for you? That's Ash's voice again, but they down uh, up pitched it. They put a little bit of vocal editing on it, which is kind of funny because his voice is so deep that they tried to change it to a higher voice tone. And that's what we got. Ah, uh, how long you've been with the Rangers? About half my life. You know I was named third most profitable investment on two non-consecutive seasons? Ain't a lot of players who can make that claim. Except for the guys who came in first and second, I guess. I spent the last season injured and almost got sold to the Hephaestus Hammers, but now I'm all convalesced, ready to lay into some Cleo darlings, you know? Really break some legs. Oh, what brings the Rangers to Eridanos? Since it's the off-season, we're helping support the launch of Rizzo Spectrum Brown, Meet the fans, sign toss ball cards, that sort of thing. Just between you and me, Rizzo's ought to cancel the whole event out of respect for Miss Helen. I had some questions about the house in Helen's murder. Oh, you must be that inspector people have been talking about. It's a damn shame about Miss Helen. She was always real good to me and the rest of the Rangers. Bertie's taking it pretty hard. Miss Helen was the love of his life. So, what did you want to know? Tell me about Bertie and Helen. Oh, Bertie was mad about Helen. He was certifiable. The big galoot loved Helen about as much as he loved the game. Trouble is, Bertie was not blessed with an abundance of temper. Helen kept Bertie steady. If he lost his temper around her, it'd be because something broke between the two of them. Do you think Bertie could have killed Helen? What? Law, no. Bertie's got a fierce temper, but there's no way he'd ever have laid a finger on Miss Helen. Where were you at the time of the murder, Miss Seek Hannigan? I'm ashamed Mr. to admit it, but me and a couple of the other rangers spent the night in Constable Keen's cells down at the spaceport. We didn't do anything serious, just a bit of pranks and vandalism. It's what usually happens when we all get to drinking. Guess Constable Keen saw things a bit differently and had us hauled off. Oh, he's a prankster. He's a prankster. Damn it, was Bird in jail with the rest of you? No, we lost him somewhere along the way. Or maybe he managed to get away? I can't rightly remember. But he was definitely not sharing a cell with us. That much I know. Can you think of anyone who would have wanted to kill Helen? Miss Helen was outspoken. She made her share of enemies on account of her expressing herself. Just between you and me? I heard rumors the Prophet never much cared for Helen's brand of blunt honesty. What can I do for you? Oh. He's just sitting there playing computer games, probably. So we got some toss ball players here, which ain't that interesting. Holy hell. The are into some weird shit. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. No shit. This time I can't 
screwed up. I uh, screwed Multiple it up. discrepancies detected. First discrepancy. A woolly cow is present in this hotel room. Woolly cows are an import species for the Wilderness Exploitation Reserve and are incapable of affording upper-class accommodations. Second oh, discrepancy. This woolly cow is dangerously inebriated with Rizzo Spectrum Vodka. Alcohol sanguinization ratio exceeds recommended maximum. Science. Hmm, there's some worrying discoloration in its eyes because I shot it. An accurate observation, Inspector. This woolly cow is suffering from symptoms consistent with a hangover. A brief survey of this area reveals that the most recent occupants were athletes belonging to the Rizzo's Rangers Tossball Club. <laughs> What's black old birdie here? Insufficient data. A brief survey of localized property damage divided by the area of this room yields the following estimate. This unit was likely occupied by every member of the Rizzo's Rangers. Minus one. Oh. You don't look so great, woolly cow. You just take another nap. Does the woolly cow mind if I take the water? He does not mind. Good. Good. That would help it so broad. Ah, oh, let's see. That's mine. Don't need to close. Can I? Nope. Goddamn woolly cow. Stand out of. I need a screenshot of that thing. I find it too cool. Ah, oh, there we go. Screenshot. Nice. Ah, oh, I shot it by accident. I forget that this gun can shoot and it will probably cost me. My life. Damn, what the hell is wrong with those dudes? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Beep, beep, beep. A lot of them. Trash. The charred fragments of a letter lies at the bottom of this waste basket. Mm, I can make out the words station, meeting point, and emergency. Your observation is correct and quite astute. Station, meeting point, emergency. You think it's talking about the atmospheric station? Or maybe the pilot house? Could be anywhere. Oh, dash is good. Cold. Any idea when this happened? Someone burned this letter shortly after Halcyon Helen's death. Hmm. Don't have enough perception. Your observation. I did that already. Beep, beep, beep. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, analyze it, you fool. Single footprint, size 10, toss ball cleat sized. And pull a fire, analyze the footprint for any residue. The soil in this residue contains a very high concentration of oxygen. Science, high concentration of oxygen usually points to a terraformer. Well done, Inspector. The weather monitoring station at the pilot house substitutes for a terraformer. The soil in his footprint likely came from there. The clues I found point me to the path in Ballot's house weather monitoring station. And to this cache. Up, oh, you come back in here. Damn, those Tospo players are partying hard. I mean, I can sort it quite easily. Okay, music. Music is too silent. Bam. Sleeping that bad. Don't need to. Don't need to. Where the hell am I? Vending machine? Where's the other rooms? Oh yeah. Just one person to talk to. And nothing to shoot, but way more importantly, water. We got water. Yeah, 
there. Stole someone's breakfast. They almost wake up or oh, go to sleep. Cookie. Cookie? Candy. Wow. Oh. Well, the, the inspector just is also the thief in the hotel and just steers his way through. Ah. Oh. Okay. I don't care. Well, I don't care if it's signed. Got some ale that I can sell. Where is it there? Never heard that jingle before. Hmm. Nothing too cool in the VP section. Oh damn. They're gonna hate me if I lockpick that. Nice going. Well, I made it through. I can actually steal that. I always wanted to see Eridanos. Sky above, sky below, horizons without end. Thanks for bringing me along, Captain. You're welcome. I'll close the door. So I can steal my way through. Oh, yeah. You gotta teach me that. No. Or me. Oh, thanks for the water. I can already drink some. I can hear the music so silently in the back. It's kind of meh. But it's so silent. In there you go. Come on, goose. In the hotel room. Stealing the water. Oh, inspector and thief. Oh, bringing hacking equipment. Interesting. Oh, I just randomly steal stuff that I said before and that I won't steal. And armor and weapon parts. Huh. I wasn't in there, I swear. Initiating banter protocol. Now simulating familiar and welcoming demeanor. Burbage uh. 3001 is trained to recognize all board approved actors. Greetings, fellow star. Your performance in Maverick Johnston's latest drama was memorable. <laughs> oh. Duh. Oh. That was kind of weird. Engineering. I see you had some work done. Who upgraded you? Burbage 3001's programming is frequently upgraded to adhere to board certified standards. The most recent upgrade was performed by Spencer Woolrich. Banter protocol exhausted. Reverting to default behavior. Grieving and despair. Oh, Halcyon Helen, may your atoms be commended to the Aether. I can't listen to him. He sounds too broken down. I can just take this. Why? Maybe because it's not. Oh, sleep. The hell is the energy canister down there? Oh. Inhabited by my, um, no, okay, cool, and thanks. By a man or a woman, because it's inhabited by a machine, this hotel room, maybe that's why I can steal. Who are you? Oh, the man, the legend himself. About time you arrived. I see you haven't dressed the way I asked you to, but I suppose that was expecting too much of a non-industry lout. Expect a complaint to management. Now, 
Unless you'd like to waste more of my time, I suggest we begin rehearsing. Ready? <coughs> You've fallen right into my trap, Captain. Oh, don't bother to fight back. You cannot hope to stop me from installing philosophism as the system's reigning ideology. Ah, oh, should have brought out the vicar for this one. Ah, uh, you'll never take over Halcyon, you faint. How does the scenery taste? Good, I trust. Uh, wait a moment. You're not wearing a bellhop's ID, which must mean you're not Owen's understudy. That man can't even be relied upon to find his own replacement. Oh no, this is curious indeed. Who are you? And how did you get in here? Oh. I'm here to investigate the murder of Halcyon Helen. I'd like to ask a few questions. You're here to investigate me? Oh, I assure you, I'm nothing special. Just an old crook with more money than time that was a quote from the retiree's revenge in which i played an ex-thief turned decrepit old man but uh, of course i'm certain you already recognized it nope. now what shall i sign first your weapon your wallet or perhaps something uh, a little more personal undergarment signatures have been popular of late or so i've heard no. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Dear, I actually sign my weapon if you want. I'd be delighted. Oh, damn. My oh. pen's out of ink. I'll just get you a portrait of my face as a souvenir. I'm sure I have the prints around here somewhere. By the by, how did you get in here? The only non-staff individual cleared to enter guest rooms is supposed to be the inspector for Bellamy's murder. Oh. Oh! <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, that's me. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you derive some kind of pleasure from wasting people's time? Uh, terribly sorry, Inspector. I didn't realize it was you. Uh, understand that I am beyond willing to comply with your search for the fiend that did Bellamy in. You know, now that I look at you, <laughs> you're the perfect reflection of me. Back when I starred in the Marauder's Bane, the absolute picture of justice. Ask me anything at all. I might even give you a straight answer. Ah. Oh. Oh, I've learned a thing or two about activities in the hotel. Oh, no, that's not, a, that's not at all what the sentence was writing me. Ah, oh, second take. I've learned a thing or two about your activities in the hotel. Oh, have you now? Please do go on. Uh, uh, don't leave me in suspense. I spoke to Bourbash. He told me you upgraded him. I did indeed. With Halsey and Helen parading her fame about, I was left without an acting partner. Burbage is no exception. His acting protocols <laughs> were nothing short of a joke. So I decided to make some modifications, installing him with some of my old serial quotes as, I think, improved his range. The way he bungled about with that weapon of his hardly befitted a dissident, so I modified it as well. He's much quicker on the draw now, though he's still a machine. I've got my eye on you. I'm quite used to being breathlessly watched. I'd like to ask you about the murder. Certainly. But one quick question before we begin, if I may. 
how was it that Bellamy met her end? Bellamy? Is that a second name? Why are you so curious? Why, I'm merely worried for my own sake. Perhaps whoever came after her could come after me next. But if you don't want to tell me, I understand. Whatever happened, I hope poor Bellamy didn't suffer. Did you know Helen Wall? That's a stupid question. Bellamy has been my co-star throughout the autumn of my career. I should like to think I knew her. In fact, I cannot name a single role in the last ten years that did not involve her in some way. Unless you count the uncredited silent shopkeep on Melissa's meteoroids. Oh. Did you consider yourself a friend of hers? I'll ask you this. If you'd been the star of cinema for years, then suddenly found yourself scrounging for bit parts while a younger person stole the limelight, how would you feel? In short, the two of us weren't close. But that's not to say my dislike of her was so extreme that I tried to do anything drastic. Resenting Bellamy is one thing, but killing her is another completely. It's also beneath me. I cannot believe him. He's probably more talk than action. Okay, right. Speaking theoretically, how would you have killed the victim? Oh, come now, Inspector. What do you take me for? I'm an old man. I neither have the time nor the willpower to kill people for fun. Besides, I have my reputation to think of. Ah, oh, what were you up to at the time of the murder? I was meditating, of course. That's how I get into character. Hmm. Got anybody who can cooperate that? Respectfully, Inspector, it is rather counterproductive to commune with others while meditating. Yeah, that makes sense. You were meditating, really. All actors have their methods, and this has been mine ever since I met that wonderful prophet of profitability. She taught me it for my role in The Unemployed Cometh. I had to lie face down on artificially heated pavement. The director wanted our suffering to be convincing. Needless to say, being able to leave my body helped to mitigate the pain, both during the eight-hour shoot and with the second-degree burns afterwards. I owe that woman much. How long have you worked with the Prophet? I haven't met her yet. Yeah, actually, only since I've been at the Colonial. The unemployed Cometh was shot on sight. That makes it um, a few weeks. I cannot recommend her services enough. If you haven't been to see her yet, you really should. Okay. Uh, I suppose that is enough on that grim subject. Who are you, Sakte? I'm sure you're joking. Perhaps I'm not in my prime, but you've no doubt seen the name Spencer Woolrich on many a serial advertisement throughout your travels. Oh, let's crush his ego. Never heard of you. Uh, that can't be. You must just not remember. Or perhaps you only recognize my characters, not my name. Did you ever see me in The Masked Marketeer? Uh, the Busker of Byzantium? Uh, what about episodes 13 and 190 of Princess of Hephaestus? And who could forget from Halcyon with love? I was great in that movie. Even if I was starring beside a two-ton bucket of bolts and a woman with no talent. Oh. 
Fast girl of past centim. Helen wrote a B to implicate her killer before she died. I think that's a bit of a stretch, don't you? I agree. If you're going to come after me, I expect evidence. Unless you want to be smacked with litigation. Smacked! Uh, that indeed is a stretch. Light machine got back free, dude. Okay, sure. Nothing screens innocent like that. Duh. What floor would you like to visit? The lobby. To the lobby we go. If it's brown, drink it down. That drawing seems rushed. How long are we into it? 25 minutes. Okay. Refreshments. I don't have much to sell. Oh. Uh, oh, travel meeting to spot. Let's see. Is that no, it's not indirectly. I can sell stuff. It's the best choice right now. 25. Well, wow, that's not worth much. Damn, I'm already getting tired. Shut up, Chinger. Ah, oh, in game. And outside. Yes, traveling down the elevator really exhausts you. I can use fast travel. They told me the tip. Chapter 12, murder on the radius. Those look like we zombies. Ah, oh, come on, load quicker. I have nothing to say right now. Poo Blaza. Dolph McAllister. That smell. Excuse me. Whatever that is, it'll kill more than bacteria. Oh, you're that inspector, right. Uh, sorry, but the pool's currently closed on account of it stinking worse than my boss. <laughs> what can I do for you? Why does the pool look all green? Space me if I knew. I got here from my shift this morning and found it this way. They can't yell at me for this one, which is good, because a lot of folks seem upset by it. Perception this morning, so it happened just before the Spectrum Brown launch. Gee, you're pretty sharp. Yeah, the reception party would have extended out here, but we had to close it off. What with the contamination? And now the reception ain't happening anyway. Can't do much now, but wait for the stench to wear off. We found the individual hired to clean face down in a puddle of his own spit in the orchards. Guess he won't be helping. Ah, uh, something about this sounds off kilter. I like to take a look around. Uh, all right. You may want to visit the sun parlor. That's where that Rizzo's fool mixed the chemicals he used. Oh, and you can talk to Lily, my boss. She probably has some great advice. I saw her walk toward the bridge to the Purpleberry Orchards earlier. Reckon she's still there. Now, uh, anything else I can do for you? Mm, got some questions about the bull. So long as you don't want to go in, I can answer anything you like. Uh... Pretty heavily armed for a pool guard, aren't you? Besides the swimsuit. Uh, yeah, it's part of the job. I think I'm listed as a security consultant. But all that really means is that if I'm caught without this thing, I get put on pool guard duty. I don't know what happens if I'm caught without it on pool guard duty, but I know that I don't want to find out. You said that Rizzo hired someone to do the cleaning. Yep, still dead. Usually Rizzo's is pretty good at making sure the people they hire ain't got tripacale for brains, but that fella clearly wasn't worth trusting. I met him briefly once. Seemed level-headed enough, but that must have been just a front. Otherwise, he wouldn't have made such a mess of things. So? Can I have your armor, sir? Spread. Spread. Uh, does that hurt? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, 
Analysis reveals the chemical signature of this compound is 80% semblant of fertilizer used in the purpleberry orchards. The other 20% is semblant of pool water. Which means nothing. That's pool door. Oh boy, there you got a little tennis field. I um, wonder who gets it if you hit it over the edge. We, we will. So far, this actually seems like there is no fighting in this goddamn map. Yeah, doesn't seem like there will be any fighting here, which is sweet. Maybe you should have played this to see first. Going. Was that a new side quest? Oh yeah. The pool were horror twelve. Let's help with the pool then. Pool chemical required. The pool, man, people gotta swim. Such a good workout. The music is killing my ears again. Okay, music, calm yourself down. Still too loud. Still too loud. Sometimes that kind of music that just has the same melody over and over in a sh too short uh, period, time period, just kills ya. Yeah. Oh shit! I thought there are no raptor dance. They're just chilling there. And they're just chilling there. Yo. Whew. Thanks for the help back there. I've uh, actually never fired a gun before. Is this ringing in your ears normal? Yep, you get used to it. Hmm, that's more than a little disconcerting. Since I maxed out my medical allotment this month. That's what I call my booze fund. Still... I had to be alive to be able to go deaf later. I'm not sure if I actually hit any shots. If you hadn't intervened, it could have been bleak. Oh, you're worthless. Seems like I would be Slack's job to keep a horde of reptilians from getting this far. I'm just as confused as you are. Someone should have been on shift to see them coming. Miss Vargas would probably have a better idea of what happened. She's stationed at a luxury pad. Oh, too much talking already. You know, I just realized you owe me a little bit more than a thanks. What do you mean? Money. Weapon maintenance and ammo in shape, you know? Oh. You know, they warned me about freelancers, but I forgot what they said. Also, who they were. Anyway, here. Thanks. Take care. The Reptodons. Oh, no. Oh, that's a dead hotel guest. You know, that's bad for you. That's bad for you, dude. Those shouldn't be dead. Oh. Climb up there. Sure. And go in there. I could affect that. Yeah. Got nimble fingers, Captain. I can take a hint. Oh good, five... Mm. What else? Adreno. Best of times. Is that not where I needed to go for the quest? This place, this place. Okay. San Paolo. 
is COVID, which means war. Did I actually do something right? I'm not sure. I just want to press buttons. 422. I can't get a 422. Okay. Oh, blue water coloring. Blue four. Damn, I. <laughs> Chemicals, blue water coloring, blue. So it's just four. Ure chlorine also, so it should be red. Chlorine Sol, Bruce Hydro, Deformer, Blue Water. So we need one four, we need one Chlorine Sol and one Deep Rosa, which is five and one red. Okay. One and there we go. Five and four. Right? Right, sure, maybe. I need a slap. A lemon slap. Okay. Okay, run, boy, run. Run, boy, run. After I finish this quest. This episode is over. Oh, poor cleaning. That's new. Oh, on the balcony is that. Let's talk to that creep. I saw you meander on out of the pool and into the greenhouse. Now you're here. Does that mean what I think it means? I read your notes. Suffice I to say I'm interested. Good. If you're interested in burying the pool, I'm interested in paying you. Oh, why go after the hotel pool? Not exactly the most high profile target. High profile target. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I just want Rizzo's working relationship with Slug to implode for the benefit of Spacer's choice. But you're right. It ain't high profile. And it ain't gotta be. Any damage to Rizzo's is cause for celebration. You ain't got to concern yourself with my spite. Consider me an average Byzantine, and I'll consider you an average contractor. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I don't think I want to get wrapped up in inter-corporate politics. <laughs> Shame. Well, I hope you'll soon see Rizzo's for what they are and help me bring them low. Nope. I'm just going to take the shortcut. <laughs> Oof. Okay, the crippled feeling is gone. Now, let's mix it in. Oh, we mixed it right too. 
Hey yo, you're welcome. I've got Dolphin McAllister. Oh, thanks a million, Inspector. The smell cleared right up. Law well, in a couple hours, the guest might even be back. Then I actually gotta start doing my job. Of course, we're not gonna get a follow-up shipment for the water anytime soon, so they'll have to content themselves on the deck. I got a little something for making my job that much less miserable. It's the key to our storeroom. If my boss asks, you never met me. Ooh, a key. I think we both know my work was way more worth than that. Uh, I guess I can spare a few bits. And, uh, here, this pack of smokes. Sorry, they don't really load me up with the goods. I gotta get back to it if you don't mind, Inspector. Sure. Sure. I'm gonna go back to the ship and sleep. I apparently am very nappy. Um... Yeah, yeah. The first, don't rely you bow. Hey yo, peace out. Now I can now. Sometimes during a loading screen, I can press my recording screen button. There it is. Peace out.